And so we're going to be focusing on SSS, which stands for side, side, side. That's the easiest one. Why is that the easiest? Because if two triangles have all three same side lengths, they have to be the same triangle. Okay, there's no other way around it. There's no way to manipulate it to where they're different triangles. The second one uh, takes a little bit more to understand, but that one is side angle side. And so if you read the directions on your worksheet, it says determine if they're congruent, and that means they're the same triangle. And if so, how do you know they're congruent? Now for today, you only have two possible answers. It's either going to be side, 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 or side angle, side. If you can't use those two to prove it, then you're just going to say they're not congruent, and we'll explain why. So uh, make sure you write down this information. Side, side, side. Uh, SSS means side, side, side. If two triangles are congruent, uh, sorry, two triangles are congruent, meaning the same triangle, if all of their sides are equal. Once you're done copying that, I will uh, write some examples down of that. Okay, I'll go back up if you need it, but um, let's, let's use something we've just been working on, right? Right triangles. Now, it doesn't have to be a right triangle, but let's just say you have a triangle like this. This is 30, and this is uh, 60 degrees. Um, actually, we don't even need that information, but we'll just do the sides. Um, let's say this is 12, uh, 5, and... I think it's 5, 12, 17. Yeah. So if I have a triangle going the other way, 5, 12, 17, since all three sides are the same, we could say that they are the same triangle, and uh, we would use side, side, side to prove that. So they're the same triangle, even though they're pointed a different way. They don't have to be pointed in the same way. Certainly, if you look at the worksheet, you know, all of these triangles are in different positions. Uh, but ultimately, if all three sides are equal, they are the same. Looking at the first page, you can look right, right off the bat, you can look at number eight and tell they are equal because of side, side, side. They have all of the notches. Those notches mean they are the same side. Now, um, what if you have something like this? All right, so let's say these two sides are equal. Those two notches, right, mean those are the same. And then if I do a double notch, those are the same. Now here's the thing. You've only got two sides that they're telling you are equal, but what can we conclude from the picture? The third side has to be equal because they share the same side, right? So you could also prove that this one is, these two are equal because of side, side, side. Now I want to draw a third picture where you don't know they're equal and uh, so, so basically there are you know if you have S, the letters S and A there's a lot of different ways to arrange those two letters right if you're given three positions the one I want to show you that doesn't work is uh, three angles and that's kind of intuitive but let's just say that this is uh, 120 and this is uh, I'm just making some numbers up here this is 20 degrees and this is 40. Okay? And then I draw another triangle. And this is going to kind of be hard to do. Let's see. Actually, I'll tell you what. I will copy this. Um, and then move it over. Like that. And let's just shrink it a little bit. Just. Okay, so. Basically, right, they have the same angle, but you saw me shrink it, so what does that tell you? Like, just because they have the same angle, so what this would be a representation of is AAA, angle, angle, angle. But obviously, they're not the same triangle. One is bigger than the other, so they are not congruent, or just not the same, we can say. So angle, angle, angle is not a way to prove that two triangles are the same for that simple reason. It's a scale thing, right? So any questions about that before we look at side angle side? The gist of that is if the three sides are the same, then they're the same triangle. Okay, next we have side angle side. Two triangles are congruent if a side angle and side are equal 
and I'm going to emphasize this last part in that order. So it has to go side, angle, side, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw an example of side, angle, side. Um, I'm going to be referencing uh, number seven on the worksheet, so I'm going to help you guys. Just because it's hard, it's also hard for me to come up with an example myself. Um, so it kind of looks like that, and then it comes down, and then it goes across. Okay, so that's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Pretty close. And then they have a notch here, right? And they have a notch there. And then they have a notch here. They have a notch there. That's it. Okay, but we're going to reach back to a previous lesson. Okay. Um, it doesn't give you any angles that are equal, right? There's no arches, but how do these two angles relate to each other? Okay, they're vertical. And we know what about vertical angles? They're equal. So sometimes you have to fill that in, okay? You have to reach back and use previous concepts that we've learned in this class. So once we do that, let's take a look at the sequence here. Side, angle, side. If you go to the other triangle, side, angle, side. So if it's in that order, side, angle, side, we can say they're congruent because of side, angle, side. So we just write FAA? Yes. You don't have to put well, the, it says state if the two triangles are congruent, so you could just say yes on the worksheet and then say side angle side. So basically for this worksheet, it's either going to be yes, side, 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 or yes, side, angle, side, or the answer will be no. Just no? I would just say no, yeah. Okay. If you, if you want to offer dif dif additional information, you can. Shh. Would that be the same for number one? I was, I was, I'm going to go over that one right now. Let's take a look at that one. So I'm going to draw it. Again, this is uh, number one on the worksheet. Okay. So we've got two notches. Let's do a different color. Uh, we got two notches here. And we got the same two notches right here. And then we have uh, three notches up here. And the other three are right here. Now, yes, because these are vertical angles, we can go ahead and say those are equal. So I'm going to put an arch here and an arch here. OK, but some of you are seeing the issue here. All right, up here, we actually have this is side side angle in that order, okay? Side side angle. Down here, uh, down here we have side angle side. It doesn't work, okay? So this one would be no because again the order matters. The order definitely matters. Isn't that one kind of obvious too? All right. Just write these street three steps down for me. I know you understand it now, but in the future, steps really help to go back and follow a procedure. We want to note any equal sides that we can determine based on the figure. In other words, if they share the same side. Uh, we want to note any equal angles, like we did with the vertical angles. And then from there, you'll be able to determine whether or not they're equal or not, based on either side, 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 or side, angle, side draw some go ahead and draw that okay and I'm gonna do this okay this is gonna be a little bit different than what you see on your worksheet not too not too different that's all I'm going to give you, okay? So um, let's go ahead and just 
go through these steps real quick. Um, are there any other angles? So note any other, I'm sorry, are there any sides that we can fill in? The one that they share. Okay, so we'll just put two notches right there. So we'll go side angle side right there. All right. Are there any additional sides that we can show are equal? The ones on the outside. Well, not technically not. Yes, but based on the diagram, okay, let's just assume that we don't know it's side angle side. Based on the diagram alone, we can't actually because this one could be tilted a little bit less than the one on the right. So technically no, but... Eventually, yes. Okay? And you're correct because we have side, then angle, then side for both of them. In that order, we can say that they are equal. Yes. And then you have to, you do have to write Y. In this case, side, side, side. You, side, angle, side. I got distracted there, sorry. All right, one more, and then I'll let you work on this. Even though we've done more than two examples, we did some in the previous. Okay. So, so first of all, is there anything we can fill in here? No. Okay. Um, and that's because they don't they don't actually touch each other. So when that happens, normally you can't, if they don't share the same side or something, you can't just assume that the other sides are equal, so definitely not. Uh, same thing for angles. Uh, normally you won't be able to do that either if they're not touching each other. So let's move on to the third step to see if they are congruent. Let's just go through this one. This would be side, angle, side, right? That seems good. But what about this one? Side side angle, just like that other example we did. It doesn't work. Yeah, angle side side is the same as side side angle. You can go either way. You don't want to, yeah, right. Okay, you can't conclude because where the angle is, the order is off. Now, have you moved this angle down here, you'd be good, all right? Or you could have moved, actually, you couldn't have moved that angle up there. That's, that's different, right? It has to be side, angle, side. So this would have to be moved over. You're right, it's a different triangle. So the answer for this one is no. Wait, why wouldn't it be side, angle, side? Because this angle right here is not in between the two sides. So it would be SSA. Oh, okay, so, uh, I got you. okay. Well, I was going to say... Up.